What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and today we're going to teach you how to add Firebase to your Xcode projects using CocoaPods. Now Firebase offers a bunch of functionalities such as analytics, databases, messaging and crash reporting. Firebase is used by a bunch of development teams around the world such as NPR and Shazam. So we're going to go over to our Firebase console and add a project. So as you can see, we can give it a project name or whatever we would like, just set the country and region and then click create project. So your project is building right now, so once it's finished, you'll just click continue and then you'll be directed to the dashboard. So in your project dashboard, we need to click add a Firebase to your iOS application. Then you'll be greeted with this form that you need to fill out. So zoom over into Xcode and we're going to create a new Xcode project and you can name this whatever you would like. So after you've created your project, we need to go ahead and get the project bundle ID and copy and paste it into the Firebase form. So after you click register application, we have to download the Google service plist file and add it to our Xcode project. So after you've added the plist file and click continue, we need to add the Firebase SDK using CocoaPods. So open up terminal and direct yourself to wherever your application is saved on your computer. So mine is on the desktop in a folder called Firebase Tutorials. So make sure you're inside your Xcode project folder and then we need to go ahead and create a new pod by using pod init. Now Terminal will go ahead and create a pod file in your file directory so if you go ahead and check it out you will see the pod file like so. So we need to open this pod file with a text editor of our choice, I'm using text edit as you can see. And then we're going to go ahead and add the pod file core to our pod file. As you can see I'm just copy and paste and get from Firebase like so. So after you've added the pods make sure you save the pod file and then we're going to go ahead and jump back into Terminal and use pod install to install the pod file to our Xcode project. So the installation will only take one to two minutes and once everything's done, the terminal will tell you to close down every single Xcode project and it will want you to open the project with .workspace at the end. So we're not finished yet guys, if you go back into Firebase and click continue, we need to add the code to initialize it in our Xcode project. So in our app delegate in our Xcode project, we need to add import Firebase. And in the did finish with launching options, we need to finally add the configuration code for Firebase. If you go ahead and hit build and run, your application should be working perfectly fine without any errors or anything like that. Let us know what you think about it in the comment section. If you came across any errors or anything, let us know. Hit the subscribe button guys for more Firebase tutorials and we'll catch you in the next video.